Let's now bring in Professor Ken Ife, lead consultant at the ECOWAS Commission. He is based in Abuja, Nigeria. Professor Ken Ife, welcome to the program. Professor, ECOWAS has given the coup leaders until Sunday, August the 6th, to reinstate Bazoom. What are we likely to see? Well, on a normal day, we would expect to see increased tempo of diplomatic activity and dialogue. Because in the end of the day, armed struggle and military intervention is the very, very last option. And it's not an option anybody will be keen to pursue. Uh, because, you know, for some reasons, Niger, Niger has been a, a good partner in the fight against ISIS, in the fight against uh, Al-Qaeda and all of that. So for the, to the West is a very important strategic partner in that struggle. So nobody wants a collapse of, the, of the, uh, this kind of collapse that would allow the militants to gain weight, to gain ground. So nobody wants that. At the same time, nobody also wants the population to suffer. In the, whatever happens, either way, the population will suffer. So we don't want that. But the, the military authorities should understand the mission of a cause. More, more things reunite us in a well, we apologize for that breaking communication. Hopefully we'll get him back. I think we do have Ken Professor back. Let's see if we can reconnect. Professor, if you can hear me, Professor, you've mentioned that uh, military intervention is the last option. So my question to you is, what other options does ECOWAS have on this matter? Well, ECOWAS has a lot of options because uh, Niger is a landlocked country. And, uh, and it has more connections and more trade, more, more to lose. Uh, for example, I hear, not sure, that power has been cut. 70% of their power is actually coming from the Niger Dam in Nigeria. So, you know, we, we don't want this. Nobody wants the population to suffer. Uh, and, uh, and they need ECOWAS more than ECOWAS needs them. So they should really reason because when you talk, you avoid that military showdown. Uh, and then you know a, little, a bit more time can be gained. So it's not it's not the best thing to do to allow a military uh, fallout. Uh, it's not going to help the people. It's not going to help the junters. How do you expect coup and counter coup? And that's all it's going to lead to. If you have a breakdown of constitutional order and no and constitutional change of you have coup and counter coup, and it goes on and on forever. So who wins? It's the people that loses. So I think um, there are many more options uh, uh, within the. The landlock means all the things. Look at Nigeria alone and, and Niger. We have refinery being fed by them. We have pipeline. We have extra. We have gateway to so you can let that happen. I think these guys has to come to their to the to to reasoning so that they can have dialogue, this talk. Even Russia has encouraged them to get into very serious and urgent talk. And so to think that you just want to rush to Russia and all that is not going to solve any problem at all. We just have to talk to your brothers so that they can have, you know, peace can reign. Peace is what we need for us to have development in the country. That country has suffered for so long, and we understand their cry. Everybody here on the other side understands the situations with Niger, but it's not what you will settle by force. You people will suffer the more. Indeed, Professor, no one wants the population to suffer. But, Professor, let me ask you this. How soon do you think the military in intervention can take place given previous interventions? Well, the, what happens is that, I mean, it could start uh, um, on Sunday, tomorrow. It could be, you don't know, I don't know their plan. Um, we know that it could start any minute. There could be a cool enough period within which you have a, a, a launch, but we don't want that conflict. All you need to do is not to talk. If you have a delegation that went there, and I understand that the the coolie that refused to grant them audience. We have to talk. That is the, the bottom line. We have to talk. You have nothing to gain, but everything to lose. If you block block out the opportunity for dialogue and diplomacy, you so you punish your people. And I've just had your 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 uh, Islamic hierarchy there urging people don't go on either side, praying for peace.